Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna talk about assigning controllers. As I'm working through my display here for 2022, I'm starting fresh because we got a new house. Uh, now I know what all stuff I've ordered and what I've got. And so now I've got it all. I've got it laid out here in x -Lights. I think I've shown you guys previous. I'm using 3D this year, though it's not entirely required. And I want to show you guys, whether this is review or you're new to it, how to assign controllers in x -Lights. Kind of give you the basics, the process that I go through that we found to be the most successful for us and our students in the academy. So um, the basic gist is, in the controller tab, uh, we're gonna work primarily in the visualizer. Now, one thing I really like to do before I start is go over here to the layout tab, take a picture or a screenshot of your layout so you remember where everything is. And hopefully you've named it all so that it's easy to remember. And then go back over to controllers, boom. So you can sequence, you can build out all your stuff and not have any controllers set up, but in order to output, you do have to set up those controllers. Now, modern controllers have gotten so stinking awesome with all of the modern features they have. And I just set up my display and I wanna walk you through uh, a couple different scenarios that you might find yourself in. If you're running a newer controller, such as a Culp, such as a Falcon uh, V4 controller, uh, such as I have right here, a Culp K8, then you can set up, you basically add a new ethernet, name it, uh, set the vendor as Culp lights and the controller type, and then I start checking auto layout, auto size, full X lights control. Okay, um, auto upload configuration, we will check later whenever we actually have the controller connected and we're moving things around and whatnot, but right now it's just not necessary. So default port brightness, this is pretty darn cool um, that you can set that. I, I'm gonna go ahead and just set that to 30 for all my models. And then um, you go ahead and enter an IP address, okay? now. This doesn't have to be the IP address you're gonna use, but it does unlock the ability to use the visualize button. Notice if you don't have an IP address, you can't use the visualize button. So you can always change it later, but for now I just entered one in there um, so that I could get to visualize. Okay, now here in visualize, all your models here are gonna show up in the right. And if you check this box, models assigned to other controllers are gonna disappear. Now, assigning models or the different things in your display in this screen is actually really easy. You just click and drag them over, as I've done here. Uh, as you click and drag, one thing to make note of is that uh, if you want to stack models on the same port in order, like I just undid, you wait for that little overlay to show up as you drag it over top, such as here, here, and then you drop it. Okay, um, but that's all pretty cut and dry simple. Once in a while it gets mad. Um, why is it mad? And uh, and you have to you have to fight with it. But um, but overall that does work well. Now if you're the cool thing about yeah 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 I know <laughs> it got mad about that six so five. Four. Yeah, sometimes just a quick close uh, save your controller and reopen the visualizer fixes everything. Okay, so what I've done here is I've laid out all of my pixel ports with my all my stuff on it. Now I have smart receivers. I'm I don't really need to use any of them in smart mode here. I mean I could and I could eke a few more pixels out of my controllers, but eh, it's just easier for me to leave receivers in dumb mode. If you do use smart receivers though. Uh, assigning your different pixels to smart receivers, your different models is as simple as right clicking, smart remote, choose that remote, okay? Um, and then you have an option for the Falcon or the FPP remote, uh, depending on which type of controller this is, and then uh, you should be good to go. Okay, you can also set your brightness here uh, for the individual models, uh, so that's super nice as well. However, it's a little bit slower, I like to do it and do that in the layout tab uh, because you can highlight everything and, and bulk edit it uh, to assign that brightness. Okay, um, so that's really uh, about it. Uh, so for your regular pixel models, they're all gonna go on your pixel ports. 
Notice the coloring here in fours because the controllers typically have ports or this controller has ports uh, in fours, right? As to local ports and long range ports. And, um, and so those are all gonna be seen there. If you need to know what port is what, look at your controller or look at its documentation. Uh, and then last, we have the serial port. So if you do have any DMX stuff, you can go ahead, drag that over and assign it in to DMX, okay? Now, as long as you did a clean job of this and you hadn't assigned things previously to one place or another or done stuff outside of the visualizer, typically this just ends and there's no errors. However, if anything is wrong, you might get some errors down here. Um, that could be if you have another controller with channels and they overlap with each other, that creates all kinds of problems. So, um, you know, it's best if all your controllers can do auto layout models and auto size and full X lights control, it's best to leave all that stuff on, in my opinion. Uh, it just makes it easier. There's like all these settings that you don't have to worry about because X lights just handles it. Same with like the protocol. Uh, DDP or E131 or Artnet, they're, they're all good. Um, DDP and E131 are definitely my favorites. Artnet doesn't always work well on internet networks, but regardless if you're using FPP uh, based controllers, which most of the modern ones are, then they actually don't send out that data. Uh, you, could, you could do it if you're, while you're running things on your PC, but once you're actually running your show, the sequences are all stored on the controller and played back, so the type of data doesn't really even matter that much um it it really doesn't uh the cool thing about this is you know no matter what type of control you have x lights works with it type of data doesn't really matter you can mix and match and at the end of the day it just works and you don't really have to worry about it so i also have a falcon f48 here just to show you an old school one old old school uh, <laughs> it's not that old uh, a v3 and it does not have all the options for um, all the auto layout, or it doesn't have the auto upload, okay? So what that means is the first time I connect up and I'm ready to start testing things, I've just got to press this upload output, and then I should be good to go on that guy as well. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it with assigning models. I did mention uh, a few minutes ago that it is a good idea. It, if you want to set a bunch of things to the same brightness, you should be able to bulk edit that, right? I'm not crazy. Right click, bulk edit. Know what? That's one of the things. Oh yeah, controller brightness. Boom. The cool thing about X lights is there's always, always stuff being rearranged, new stuff being added, and you just got to be on your toes because it might be different from where you remember it being. <laughs> um, but that's really it. Um, then you've got all your stuff assigned and now you're ready to plug it into the controller of choice and see it light up. Uh, at the end of the day, it's actually that easy, especially if your controllers do feature the auto upload. This is really all you got to do. So with that guys, thanks for watching. Kind of a quick tip today. Thank you guys so much for watching everything on this channel. We appreciate everything. And if you're brand new to this hobby, you're brand new to Christmas lighting, you don't know what to do head over to learnchristmaslighting.com and grab my free guide, the four things I really, really, really wish I knew before I begin with Christmas lighting. Then we'll see you guys in our next video, as long as you're subscribed here. Thanks.